In this video, we're going to discuss the idea of shifts. Now, shifts are on the surface a very simple type of instruction. What they're going to do is they're going to take a binary value and they're going to shift all of the bits either to the right or to the left. So the operation is fairly simple, but what it's able to do for us is actually quite significant. So let's take a look at what we could do with some shifting. First, I'm going to move a value into EAX that I can work with. I'll move in the value 2 as an example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shift to the right on EAX. Now I could choose how many spots I want to shift. So what this is going to do is it's going to take all of the bits and shift them over to the right one place. So if you were to visualize, two would be written as like 0010. After the shift completes, if I shift by one spot, I'd have 0001, right? So everything just shifts over to the right one spot. Now what happens to this zero at the end? Well, the zero at the end is going to go into the carry flag. So the last value always goes into the carry flag. Everything else effectively just kind of shifts over to the right. So that's the main idea of what's happening here. And I'll show you that exact idea. If I do a shift to the right to the one and we go ahead and run this code, we'll see exactly that, that everything will shift to the right. And what you're going to notice is something really interesting with that actual shift process when we do it. So we start off with two, we shift to the right by one. Now, if I take a look at EAX, notice that the value is now one. And that is exactly what we thought it would be. It went from 0010 to 0001, which is the value one. Now, something you might notice is if you apply this kind of pattern to any binary number, it does something very specific with it. It halves it, right? So if I had like 0100, right? This value here would be four, right? If I shift everything to the left, we would get 0010. The shift is actually the equivalent of dividing by two. So that's what the shift operation is really doing. It's dividing the value by two when we shift to the right. So with that being said, I could put in any value here like 10. If I shift to the right one, this would be equal to five. And what I could actually do is I could continually shift to the right multiple times. So for instance, if I start with 12, if I shift this to the right one, it would half to give me six. If I do two, it would give me three, right? So do you see how that continues to apply that division by two? And this is a fairly fast operation for division by two. So the general rule of thumb is going to be, if you have a division that's not by two, you can use the division instruction. But if you're dividing by two, it's quicker usually to use the shift right instead. Similarly, shift left is gonna give us something very interesting, which is actually multiplication by two. So we'll go back to our same example and we can discuss this idea, right? If I start off with two and I shift everything to the right, I would end up with zero, one, zero, zero, which is four. So do you see how that multiplied the value by two? This applies to every single possible value that we put inside of here. It will multiply it by two for us. So that's the main idea of shift right and shift left. And I will note here briefly that there are some other types of shifts that we have. SAR with this one, which is an arithmetic shift, and SAL, which is also an arithmetic shift. So SAR is an arithmetic shift to the right. SAL is an arithmetic shift to the left. All that means is that it's a signed shift. So it does the shift, but it preserves the sign bit for us. So this is the shift that you're going to use for values that are sign numbers. So things like in two's couple bit form as you've been seeing as we're working through this. But generally that's the main idea. So what I really want to drive home is this idea that shifting is going to allow us to do division and multiplication by two. So shifting to the right allows us to divide by two, shifting to the left lets us multiply by two. And this in turn gives us a faster way to do those operations compared to using the multiplication or division instructions respectively. So thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.